So thank you all for coming and uh, braving the cold winter day. Um, I'd like to start off with our land acknowledgement. The town of Midland recognizes it's located on land, which is a traditional and treaty territory of the Anishinaabek people, now known as the Chippewa Tri Council, comprised of Beausoleil First Nation, Rama First Nation, and Georgina Island First Nation. This territory is within pre-confederation treaties 5 and treaty 16 and included in the williams treaties of 1923. the town of midland recognizes it's located on land which is traditional territory of the huron wendat and historic homeland to the metis and that our town is home to a large and diverse community of indigenous people so we're gathered here today to support crime stoppers uh, we do it out every, really every every day of the year but this is the, the official day when we raise the flag for crime stoppers awareness month uh, the Crime Stoppers of Simcoe, Duffer, and Muskoka. It's a volunteer-based crime-fighting program that provides a way to anonymously report tips that will help solve crimes and ensure that safety and the future of our community goes hand in hand. And let's not beat around the bush. There's some cash involved too. So it's uh, we used to call it in policing the burn -a buddy program. Uh, it's very effective and uh, some people make a good living off of it and God love them because uh, they provide good intel uh, without ever having to divulge who they are. And uh, there's all kinds of really neat ways to get your money uh, where no one knows, and uh, it's completely anonymous. Crime Stoppers of Simcoe, Duffer, Muskoka have received over 72,000 tips since 1987. They've assisted the police and other investigative agencies in making 5,231 arrests, recovering stolen property valued at over $13 million, and seizing over $78 million in illegal drugs. The theme for the 2024 Crime Stoppers Awareness Month is be a crime stopper. If you see something that's a cause for concern, it can be difficult to find the courage to come forward. Crime Stoppers provides a safe and easy and anonymous way for anyone to make a difference in their community. So let's join together, come forward, be part of the solution and fight for our safer communities. It can't be only the police. One of the foundational principles of Sir Robert Peel who put this concept of community policing together is that the police are the people and the people are the police. Uh, it's really everyone's role and responsibility. The only difference is the police officers are the ones that we empower to go and do the dirty work and the heavy lifting. And when we're all running that way, they're running that way into whatever the problem is. <laughs> but other than that, we're all in this together. So I'd like now to open the floor such that it is uh, for others to speak the importance of Crime Stoppers and uh, how our community members can learn more and participate and I would like to thank all of you for attending on this cool day as we raise the flag in a few moments' time. Maybe I'll turn the floor over to Inspector Pittman. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Good morning, everybody. I echo the, uh, the mayor's comments. Thanks for coming out here on this very brisk day. I would like to thank all the Crime Stoppers volunteers uh, for the amount of time that you put into the program and an effort to make our communities safer. It is truly appreciated. The police cannot do their jobs without the help and the assistance of the community. That is the reality of it. Uh, Mayor Gordon alluded to that, to Sir Robert Peel's principles of policing, uh, right back from the 1800s. So this is not a new concept. The truth is we need your help. We need the community's help. We need people to call in and we need your assistance for safer communities. That's what we all want. We live here. We are residents. We want our towns to be safe, our communities to be safe. So please be a part of the program call in if you have information on a crime that's been committed and uh and and we can follow up as a police so thank you all very much uh for coming thank you your worship and if there's anybody else i would like you to come on oh, i do have friends and family who are police officers and my big thing is that all our first responders like our police our paramedics our firefighters and our armed forces run into danger as we're running out and we don't thank them enough. What other way is there? If you see a crime, report it. And it helps solve the crime. And I thank you guys very much for your services. Well said. <laughs>